Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. The four pillars of sales copywriting that converts. If you write well, you will sell big. All right. Now we're living in an age where email Instant communication is what we are using to attract our customers and boost our sales. What are we doing in order to create content and words that actually help our customers understand what it is that we do and how we actually help them, um, you know, with the problems that they might have. Let me tell you something, man. Great sales copy is indispensable to closing a deal. You might have the right elements, you might have the right uh, information or the right content, and you might have identified the market. But if you don't have the right words or the right text or the right um, phrases that actually sell, uh, all your work and all your efforts will fl fall flat on their face, okay? So at the end of the day, let's just take some time to look at um, if you write really good copy, what it would do to grab your customers and actually shake the sales off of them. Like literally, that's where the low hanging fruit might be because I speak to a lot of coaches, consultants, and small business owners, and they're always saying, Oh, I'm putting content out there. Oh, I'm, uh, you know, doing everything that needs to happen. I'm blogging everything, but maybe your words are not actually selling because in today's tight marketplace where everybody can uh, string together a blog can string together a landing page, you need every tool to push yourself to the top and too many landing pages end up in a pile of junk or in a waste basket simply because they have not been written well in order for them to actually sell okay and in this uh podcast i'm gonna try and, and help you figure out these four pillars of actually writing sales copy that converts and turning your words into profit all right so you would be uh listening to this podcast just simply because maybe something that i wrote before or you have um, downloaded any of our, you know, eBooks or blueprints, and you have gone through some sort of a landing page that warranted you to, uh, you know, start communicating with us. That was actually by design because the people that we work with, the coaches, consultants, they have untold sleep hours and sleepless nights. That, uh, that they've lost simply because their sales copy has failed to perform, all right? When you get to a certain level where you really want to be converting your leads into customers, there are a few critical elements that you have to keep in mind to really assure you that the stories that you're telling and the marketing that you are putting out there actually stays on track. You need to be... Um, you know, turning your words into profit. And you've got the power to do this if you just uh, follow, you know, certain methods in order for you to be doing, have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I kid you not. For me, um, English is not my first language. So I've learned all of this uh, through trial and error. And I can imagine um, you are thinking to yourself, wait a minute, how can I grow my business? Or how can I be competing with the big players there? Uh, when I'm just um, maybe starting out or I'm just a, a measly, um, uh, you know, coach or consultant out there. Let me tell you one thing. You need to have copy that converts. Because the biggest problem that every coach or consultant that I know has is as an entrepreneur or 
whatever you call yourself these days. Marketing is not just one of the aspects that you need to run a successful business. You need to be hiring new staff. You need to be uh, putting content out there. You need to be driving growth and more. The way you write, um, you know, your job descriptions will determine the kind of client. I mean, the the kind of uh, team member you 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 draw in, and the kind of uh, ads that you put out there will determine the kind of client that you start working with. And it just feels like a constant balancing act where you're pulled in multiple different directions. And you know what? At the end of your goal, I understand you, man. You're just sitting there and saying, I just want to help my clients. Can they not see what I've got uh, to offer them? And you want to spend as much time as possible changing the lives and solving people's problems. And the last thing you want to be doing is tinkering with your websites or with your sales copy. And, and you don't want to be wasting countless hours each and every week trying to navigate the complex world of online marketing. And you certainly don't want to spend yet another minute maybe on the phone trying to beg people to, to hire your services. Unfortunately, you don't have to. Do you know what I mean? You just need to follow these four pillars of sales copywriting that actually converts. And what your landing pages and what your um, you know marketing collateral has to do out there, because if you're a coach, consultant, or you know a uh, a small business uh, person, you've probably written or received a sales letter out there, and maybe you've got a sales letter that is um, permanently written on your website so that you can convert these customers and um, you know persuade people to give you a chance, and. Let me tell you something. These sales letters, if they're well written, they keep your customers connected to you and buying more from you because your words are actually helping them convert and you don't have to consistently repeat yourself every now and again just so you can put your message across. And what good sales copywriting does is it brings back customers who've left um, and it, it encourages them to buy from you again. So if you've got the right words and you've got the right strategy around your sales uh, pages, you will actually have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And you've got the power to do this if you just put in the work, all right? So if you want to understand how a sales letter or a sales page actually works, man, if you do it well, you will create a business that's profitable and enjoyable and you start living the life that you want to live. You know, by the time you probably lis uh, finish listening to this uh, episode, you'll have an acute understanding of the four pillars, um, you know, of, of, of sales uh, copywriting that converts. And you actually start to know and recognize the fatal flaws in uh, some people's work that comes uh, uh, you, that you come across and you know how to get the most out of every word that you put out there in your mails or in your emails and you know how to speak about your content or your expertise in a meaningful and efficient way because our people have a three our customers or our target audiences have a three second attention span what are you doing in your copy, first of all, to identify themselves that, yes, you are the right person that they need to be speaking to? What are you doing to justify their failures, to show them that, yes, I understand you, I get you? All of that is done through your copywriting. What are you doing to encourage their dreams? Because if you don't encourage people's dreams, then they're not going to be buying from you, period. So since a lot of our target audience is coming to the internet to get information, and if they are able to get that information from you, then guess what happens? They get to know, like, and trust you. And if you've got sales uh, pages and that are well written, you are literally printing your own money. And you can make more money than you know all the other doctors or lawyers or any other professionals out there just simply because you have well-written um, words that take you out of the red race and um, that really separates you uh, from other Me Too people 
out there because the ability to persuade via written word uh which is what you're about to learn to do is a skill that um is head and shoulders above anything that you'd want to do and it always will be an in-demand skill because at the end of the day people are coming to the internet to get information so i really want you to grab this system so that you can start writing and maximizing the power um you know of of good sales copy that you can literally use to write your own paycheck now there's a few things that are as frustrating as spending a lot of time and effort trying to get your words right and you know put it out there and then people don't convert on it and the thing that will be missing on those sales pages or the thing that will be missing on our posts is the right copy and framework that gets people to actually buy and if you've got the right copywriting or if you can't do this for yourself then you'd need to pay someone that's able to do it for you and copy is literally your uh the the one tool that you need to teach yourself to do i spend an hour a day just to learn how to write good copy and if you would look at some of the stuff that i put out there i i speak mainly as i write but the words are actually uh designed to you know strike some sort of emotion and so that people can actually resonate with what i'm putting out there all right and copy copy does that okay right out of the gate you can you know it, it can actually give you the numbers that you need to help your business keep growing without any interruption because it's always there if something is written on the internet is written in stone and even if you don't write it on your own it's critical to understand you know that good copy is um an inherent structure you know and 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 what are the reasons behind having a well written um you know landing page so that you can be able to direct um you know your marketing person or your ad agency and you don't become a slave to them or you being in an awkward position of having to take um everyone's word for it you know and in, in the long term you want to be in the driver's seat uh to make sure that you are actually uh getting the right results for the money that you're paying out there but where do you begin um if you've not been trained by a copywriting professional and how do you know or how can you tell um you know that something is well written and is well structured in such a way that it actually converts Let me tell you something. At the end of the day, you've probably watched a movie or you've probably watched a um uh you know been to the theater and watched a play. There's always a headline. You know what I mean? There's always a lead within the um movie, somebody who is running the show and that's the person you mainly uh follow through out that um whole um you know 2 uh, hours that you watching that movie so at the end of the day the thing that hooks you in is the headline the thing that hooks you in is what they say or the little summary of um what people are going to be expecting to watch and that's the same with your copy especially when it comes to a uh, sales page you need to right if you look at any of our pages we direct and we pull out the person that we're going to be dealing with like the landing page for our report it calls out uh coaches consultants and service business owners that are looking for more leads and it tells them the heading says these are the 10 little known secrets to explode your service business with high ticket leads within the next 90 days so the headline is essentially the ad to the rest of your ad all right it sells um the rest of your copy that is going to come through and ideally it actually has to grab the prospect's attention and it draws them into the rest of your sales message and to do that a headline has to be meaningful by literally tapping into your prospect's core beliefs so it pays to really know who your target audience is and to have a clarified message that resonates with that person because if you resonate with somebody's deep, deepest aspirations and desires then they automatically assume that you've got a solution to whatever problem they might be going through and when it's done right it will actually trigger a spark in that uh, prospect's emotional 
call because in as much as we would want to deny this, people buy from emotion more than they buy from a logical standpoint. And people are bombarded with marketing content out there. So if you're not speaking to them immediately in your headline, then you've lost them because people only respond to marketing that speaks to them. And this is where the magic starts because you've gotten somebody to jump in and say, hey, this is quite interesting. Let me jump on board and start working with this person or reading what they've got to um, say. And you now ignite a series of uh, chain reactions that then transform you know their unknowingness of who you are into hope to say wait a minute if this person can you pick me out on a sea of me too or i'm just sitting on this toilet scrolling through and they're literally talking to me you know you you, you take away that facade of um doubt that they might have and you start building confidence and you know whatever fear they might have you start uh, putting it together into some sort of courage because when people are in a buying state or in a position to actually make a decision, guess what? You've actually uh, put them in that state simply based on the words that you've used. So words are power. Words are powerful. And if they're used in the right way, man, you'd explode your service business with high ticket leads um, and eventually have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So the headline is where you want to spend as much time on. And once it's really optimized, it will become an emotioning, you know, like, like, a, like a lightning road that draws people to your message and, um, you know, get, gets people to, you know, go into the next step. Now, the next step is to create uh, what we call the lead, okay? Because every winning ad campaign is built upon the foundation of a big idea. Who are you and why should we care? All right. And what is it that you bring into the table? So this is this now becomes the promised benefit of what you're offering. And that's usually the first 150 to maybe 700 words after that headline. This is where you really drill in and start telling people why they should um, follow you, who you are and why it, it actually matters for them to, um, you know, continuously read and, and learn from you. And the function of this lead stage is to restate the promise that you put out in the headline, okay? And then once you've restated the promise of the offer that you're putting out there, to really state who it's for and who it's not for. Because like I said earlier on, people want to read marketing that is directed at them. And once the headline has the prospect's attention, um, he or she might start wondering, um, is this for me or is this not meant for me? And it is at this point where these questions are being raised by your prospect that the lead up copy is now clarifying what your product or service is going to deliver. And if it's not made clear, the reader would actually be very confused and a confused mind will always say no. And you want to be uh, directing your leads towards your buyer's journey. And you don't want to start that journey with a confused mind. Because a winning lead, um, you know, um, obviously is what you want. Somebody who's converted and convinced. And once you have a, a good lead up from the headline, you create rapport and you're starting to forge a connection um, with that person. And to help that process, um, and spend, you, know, you, you need to spend time creating bullet points that are just little bites of information that help uh, people understand what it is that you're talking about in a nutshell, okay? So when you're, you know, now we've created the header, you've got your lead up to what you're, uh, you want the, the person to understand about what you're offering, you need to just put a few bullet points um, because you've gotten their attention, but give them a little bit more so that they, 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 they don't walk away. So these bullets will be little concise, um, sort of concise uh, statements that, you, that offer glimpses of your offer, you know, the benefits, uh, but without really revealing what um 
what 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 exactly would be then obtained so the focus of an effective bullet is to just arouse and to nurture that curiosity that you got from the headline already and from the lead and a well crafted bullet that will have elements of well obviously novelty mystery promise and just vivid imagery you know you're starting to paint a picture because humans actually do think in pictures and these little bullet points are driving them quickly uh to the next yes you're gonna get from this client so they start stroking your prospect's imagination and make it clear um and easy for them to move further so at any given moment you have to be getting a few yeses along the way a few yeses along the way uh, will then culminate into the bigger yes. All right. So uh, we work with a lot of accountants uh, mainly. So let's say you're writing for your accounting service and you want to introduce an exchange style sort of sort of bullet, uh, such as um, let's say you know you you want people to 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 invest twenty times um, you know twenty minutes with you um before they've even known what it is that you want them to talk to so you may be inviting people to a consultation you could write invest 20 minutes with me once and you save 20 hours a week for the rest of your life now that statement in and of itself arouses curiosity and the reader is asking questions in their head how do you do that and you're actually drawing a person further into your message and they'll ultimately buy okay so without a question they, this is one of the most important pillars to spend your energy on their bullets because you're drawing people in by um you know whetting their appetite and you know their curiosity um you know drawing them into your message a whole lot more so you want to spend as much time on this pillar as possible because in part when you create quality bullets, you actually force your clients to keep reading because it's just one line, one line, and their curiosity keeps growing. And you know, you you're taking them in a thought process that you absolutely want them to do uh, eventually, which is buying from you. All right. So you've drawn them in with the headline. You know, you've um, presented them with the lead, and you've uh, singled them out as the right target audience and you've given them a few bullet points around what it is that you're offering them. The next uh, port of call will be to write the actual body copy. All right. So this is now your broad sales argument, um, you know, your story, all of the things that you want to let your customer know in order for them to then... Um, uh, do the, the the call to action that you're going to be putting out there and your broad sales argument is what um, then constitutes this body copy and um, which is often usually the least read part of a, of a sales letter or a sales page but it needs to be there you know most readers actually just skim through in an unconscious um, you know attempt to just answer the internal question what's in it for me why am i being drawn to this person's copy so for this you need to consider applying you know unused um those you know those bullet points that you you spend time creating the ones that you didn't use as the subhead because before anything the the person will just keep reading uh the subheadings you know and then those are the things that will then invite them to read more so if you put out a good subheading they'll read just that section that has um effective uh subheadings all right so you want to break up the cells um body into easy to read sections by using those unused uh sub subheads and good subheads draw a reader into a nice sales message and they encourage the prospect to actually glide from one section to the next and you are literally uh channeling them towards the call to action that you want them to um execute at the end of it and as the prospect you know uh engages with the body of your you know your sales copy or whatever it is 
a combination of pictures, uh, promises, and social proof are some of the things that will also help you, um, you know, convey the message because a picture, um, you know, says more or like it says a thousand words and social proof is one of those things that just needs to be there so that people know that uh, whoever they're going to be dealing with um, is not uh, yet another wheel spinner, but somebody who actually has results out there. And if you interwove all of this with your unique selling proposition around your big idea, it actually then drives home the promise um, of the offer that you're putting um, across. And if done right, your body copy becomes a frictionless call to action. All right. So you want to be getting a few yeses along the way and, um, you know, just weaving your story in there so that you can uh, literally be converting the person before they've even finished reading your, um, you know, your, your, your copy there. You know, you can actually make more money than many doctors and lawyers out there just by writing simple, converting uh, sales copy, um, you know, like the ones that um, you see from people that you are following or from people that are actually doing well on the internet right now. Because let me tell you something, when you increase your writing skills, you're actually doing yourself a favor because there's a lot of stuff on the internet there that is not being re read just simply because it's not been written well. And your ability to start persuading via the written words, um, which is what you've just maybe learned how to do and what you're gonna be consistently learning to do, is a skill that if you, if you have it, will always be in high demand. We now live in the internet era where everything is either written or is either a video or podcast like this. If there's no sequence or if there's no structure in the words that you're writing, then you will be obviously, you know, spraying and praying and hoping that people will be, um, you know, bidding a pathway to your door. Let me tell you something. Since the emergence of the internet, you know, it has proven vital that the more you write, the closer you are to the pen, the closer you are to the bank. All right. So when you present your facts and opinions, um, people who actually will read them will be the people that will buy from you. And guess what? Your business will grow and your sales will go through the roof. All right. I really want you to, um, you know, give yourself the gift of printing money by making sure that whatever words you're using on your copy and whatever words you're using on your um, information um, out there is actually designed to help you sell, all right? Um, use a lot of pictures. Like I said, um, you know, your sales letters or your sales copy should not be just about your product or service um, or, or what it does. You know, your customer just doesn't really care about that. Let me repeat, no one cares. What do they care about? They care about themselves. So if you're writing it in such a way that it draws them in and it gets them to ask questions, what, what's in it for me, you know, you capitalize on this customer self-centeredness and it now becomes your um, weapon. Because a lot of people are out there just writing stuff, putting stuff together, and there's, there's no coherence in what they're putting out there. And if you put proof you know, it actually improves your sales. And, you know, as we've spoken about in many other podcasts out there, credibility is how believable you are to a potential client. And if if you do this, it's created through a combination of authority and social proof. So if you write well, you're already presented as, a, as, a, as somebody who's authoritative and who knows what they're talking about. And social proof, obviously, is other people that vouch for you, all right? So the core of every um, sales page or sales letter that you're gonna be putting out there is your offer, um, you know, the, the the context of it and the value that you're gonna be giving to the person, all right? Your customer is always asking, you give me dash and I'll give you dash in return, all right? What is it that you are giving your audience that, um, 
um, you know, um, you're, you're looking to serve there. Once you've done that, you've crafted your own conversion uh, machine. You know, a lot of, um, 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 you know, coaches and consultants, they think getting clients is hard. But after you've heard this podcast, I guess you're going to think again. I really want you to go from mediocrity to start earning up to $2 million within the next two years, all right? And you'll be using systems like this that will, it actually breaks every rule in the, in the marketing playbook. Because I don't want you to sacrifice your income doing what you love. Just write good copy, all right? Put pictures in there, put proof, and promise people um, that you are going to be able to help them. And with the words that actually sell, guess what? As you craft your marketing message, uh, you uh, craft your marketing message for you know client attraction or client getting, taking your customer on your hero's journey and making a case of why they should choose you over a sea of me too's out there would create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I really want you to be successful. So if this um, is something that you're interested in and you want to know how else you can grow your business and compete with the big players, I want you to book a free consultation with me and discover how you can scale your service business from $200,000 to $2 million inside two years. I can't wait to celebrate your success and read your sales copy that can maybe convert me into a customer. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the live long digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.